If you want to know the best science fiction movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of 2021. I know. Don't don't fiddle with it. Sorry. And stop apologizing. Sorry. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Relaxes the neural pathways for the prompts. It won't hurt. It's a little pinch. Reminiscence is a neo-noir science fiction thriller film written and directed by Lisa Joy and stars Hugh Jackman, Rebecca Ferguson, Thandwe Newton, and Cliff Curtis. This modern neo-noir thriller goes on the hunt for lost memories and the truth. In a dark future with rising seas, a troubled veteran offers clients a dangerous gift, reliving any memory they want. But as he falls for a mysterious woman, he develops an intense love affair only to witness how she is part of a series of dangerous crimes in someone else's mind. A journey through memory. Your destination, the place and time you've been before. To reach in, all you have to do is follow my voice. Number 9. Il est verrouillé, je peux plus sortir, vous devez m'aider. D'accord, vous êtes dans quel hôpital Je sais pas. Je me suis réveillée dans ce caisson, je me souviens de rien. Il est verrouillé, je peux pas sortir. Oxygen is a science fiction thriller film directed by Alexandra Aha and stars Melanie Laurent and Malik Zidi. Marking a must-watch pick for every sci-fi fan, Oxygen takes its claustrophobic premise and gets out everything one can imagine. Centering on one tiny cryogenic pod and young Elizabeth, the film witnesses her fight for survival as she has not only lost all her memory and been captured inside the box, but is also slowly running out of oxygen. Number 8. Space Sweepers is a Korean space western film directed by Jo Song Hee and stars Song Joon Ki, Kim Tae Ri, Jin Sung Kyu, and Yu Hae Jin. With impressive visual effects and a star cast to remember, Space Sweepers is a modern space opera following a charismatic ship crew of scammers and outsiders. Upon finding a seven year old girl in a crashed ship, they discover that she is a humanoid robot and machine of destruction and wanted by a bunch of bad guys, making them the next targets. Number 7. The Tomorrow War is a military science fiction action film directed by Chris McKay and stars Chris Pratt, Yvonne Strahovski, J.K. Simmons, and Betty Gilpin. Led by a charismatic cast and stylish action, The Tomorrow War visits our near future and finds the apocalypse as hordes of aliens come from nowhere and start ravaging Earth. With the help of time travel, the people from tomorrow ask for help from the past to fight a war that was never supposed to be theirs. Number 6. Uh, take an echo bar if you got it. Echo is my middle name. Will that be all? That's good, thank you. All right. Swan Song is a science fiction drama film written and directed by Benjamin Cleary and stars Mahershala Ali, Naomi Harris, Aquafina, and Glenn Close. How far will we go and how much can we sacrifice for the happiness of the people we love? Swan Song, set in the near future, is the personal journey of Father Cameron who discovers that he will die from a terminal illness. Offered another option to save the luck of his family, he must decide between two options, one more drastic than the other. It's all yours. Number five. I thought you you have me. one job to do. Take care of this dog, it's the reason I made you. It's the only reason you exist. Finch is a post-apocalyptic science fiction drama film directed by Miguel Sapochnik and stars Tom Hanks and Caleb Landry Jones. Some friendships will last longer than life. After a solar eclipse event left Earth a wasteland, 
brilliant but dying engineer Finch traverses the wasteland accompanied only by his dog. Aware that when he's gone, his dog will need someone to take care of him, he creates an intelligent robot named Jeff who learns about life, love, friendship, and what it means to be human. I don't need companionship. I don't need a friend. I need you to do your job. I'm sorry. I know you were born yesterday, but it's time for you to grow up. <laughs> Number four. Hello, Alma. Ich bin Tom. Schön, dich kennenzulernen, Alma. I'm Your Man is a German science fiction romance film written and directed by Maria Schrader and stars Maren Eggert, Dan Stevens, and Sandra Huller. This playful tale of what it means to be human and in love follows an ambitious researcher desperate for funds who takes part in an extraordinary three-week study. When she is required to live with Tom, a humanoid robot designed to fulfill her needs as the perfect partner in terms of character, what should go horribly wrong turns out to be something much greater. Das ist etwas, wovon 93% der deutschen Frauen träumen. Dann kommst du vielleicht selber drauf, zu welcher Gruppe ich gehöre. Zu den 7%? Wie hast du das nur so schnell ausgerechnet? Number 3 I'm here with Guy. The Guy, he's in my stash house and he's here to rob me. Can I get a little... The what, what for my followers, Guy? What? Free Guy is a science fiction action comedy film directed by Sean Levy and stars Ryan Reynolds, Jodie Comer, Lil Rel Howery, and Taika Waititi. Led by an irresistible cast, adventurous humor, and smart pop culture references, Free Guy combines games and movies with Guy, who lives in a computer-generated world as a non-playable character, not knowing his existence is a lie. But destiny calls as he frees himself from suppressing mechanics and becomes a thinking, living guy in his very own fake world. You want a little bit of that free city itchy kitty? Uh -huh. Yes, you do. The way you move, it's almost dirty. What about a little Thanos glove? And do a little bit of Thanos. Snap! Oh, that looks like it hurt. Yeah, a little bit of... Number two. Let me say something. Well, you came to the right place because on this show, we like to say things. Oh, would you please just stop being so fuck pleasant? Don't Look Up is a satirical science fiction comedy film written and directed by Adam McKay and stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, Rob Morgan, Jonah Hill, and Timothy Chalamet. Following its director's previous cynical work of dark satire, Don't Look Up is a powerful ensemble of actors that explores mankind's stupidity and blindness to the truth. As a massive planet-killer meteor is about to wipe out humanity, no one seems to listen except a group of brave and misunderstood misfits. But will that be enough to save us? You guys discovered a comet? That's so dope. I have a tattoo of a shooting star on my back. That's terrific. <laughs> Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Status check? We're good. It's starting to get easier. Theoretically. Speak for yourself. Try not to use your upper body so much, okay? Rule number three, don't go too messed up. Hey, they're not monsters, they're parasites. It's just a tiny organism that lives inside of another creature. Inside humans? Who taught you this? What? The tree. Christopher Columbus. He lives in a cabin next to the engine room. Number one. I guess I'm not in the mood today. Mood? Yeah. What's mood to do with it? You fight when the necessity arises, no matter the mood. Now fight! Dune is an epic science fiction film directed by Denis Villeneuve and stars Timothy Chalamet, Rebecca Ferguson, Oscar Isaac, Josh Brolin, Stellan Skarsgård, Zendaya, Jason Momoa, and Javier Bardem. Often described as Game of Thrones in space, Dune takes place in the distant future where the known universe is ruled by a cruel emperor. We follow the son of a noble family entrusted with the protection of a dangerous desert planet, the only source of the most valuable substance in the universe, the spice, a drug which extends human life and provides accelerated levels of thought. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.